How to use electrolysis and smelting to extract copper. Higher content by kscience.com. This diagram represents a metal ore and specifically we're focusing on a copper ore. The black part represents the copper compound and the white part represents the rock. The copper can be extracted from the copper ore using smelting. This involves using a furnace. The copper ore is placed inside the furnace where the copper ore is heated to very high temperatures. This heat melts the copper ore. Air flows into the furnace and waste air flows out of the furnace. The copper ore melts, which is why this process is called smelting. The melting of this copper ore produces impure copper, which is a mixture of melted copper compounds, melted rock and other substances. The waste there releases pollution into the environment, and this is a negative effect of smelting. Not only this, but a lot of energy is used to melt the copper ore, and this costs lots of money. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The next stage is to use electrolysis, where this represents the DC power supply. This represents the cathode, which is the negative electrode, and this represents the anode, which is the positive electrode. The cathode is made of very pure copper, and the anode is made of impure copper, which was obtained from the smelting of the copper ore. Because the anode is made of impure copper, the anode is going to consist of copper atoms and impurities represented by the black circles. So what happens is, on the anode, each copper atom loses two electrons, which flows towards the positive terminal of the DC power supply. Copper ions, Cu2+, then dissolve in solution. So let's summarize what happens at the anode. Each copper atom shown here, loses two electrons, shown here, to become a Cu2 plus ion, shown here. These Cu2 plus ions are dissolved in solution, where they are free to move. These positive ions are attracted to the cathode. The electrons lost from the copper atoms continue to flow around the circuit, where they get to the cathode, and each copper ion gains two electrons to become copper atoms. These copper atoms form a coating on the outside of the pure copper cathode. So at the cathode, each Cu2 plus ion gains two electrons to become copper atoms. Over a period of time, this is the result of the electrolysis of impure copper we can see the mass of the impure copper anode has decreased and the mass of the pure copper cathode increases. Underneath the impure copper anode, a sludge forms. This sludge contains impurities and precious metals that were originally in the copper ore. So we can use a half equation to summarize what has happened at the anode. Cu, S for solid reacts to form Cu2 plus, Aq for aqueous, plus two electrons. Because two electrons have been lost, this is oxidation. And the half equation at the cathode is Cu2 plus, Aq for aqueous, plus two electrons, reacts to form Cu S for solid. Each copper ion gains two electrons, so this is reduction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause 
to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.